This patient had a slightly myopic outcome during cataract surgery with a toric lens approximately four months prior and desired correction of this result with an IOL exchange. The orientation is remarked using a Mendez ring and methylene blue dye. And then the incision is placed on axis as opposed to temporal during the original cataract surgery as some induced uh, astigmatism had resulted from the original incision. An Arshanoff so soft shell technique is used using viscoat and provisc, and then viscoat is placed into the capsular bag via a 30 gauge hypodermic needle slid underneath the anterior capsular axis. During the original surgery, no capsular curetting or capsular polishing was performed peripherally, although a terry squeegee was used centrally. Testing the level of adhesion of this lens, it's apparent that additional viscodissection is needed, and in this case, provisc is placed into the fornix of the capsular sac circumferentially utilizing the three incisions and in this case it is desirable to see a wave of viscodissection coursing across the posterior capsule. It's important not to overfill the capsular bag or anterior chamber during these maneuvers so care must be taken. The distal haptic is then elevated out of the capsular bag into the anterior chamber using a kuglin hook. And then the lens is rotated and elevated to liberate the proximal haptic. The most stuck portion being the distal bulb of the haptic The lens is then trisected using micro forceps and eye well cutting scissors from MST. The lens is then reassembled on the corneal surface to ensure all portions are removed. The capsule bag is reinflated with ProVisc and a new torque lens of appropriate power is rotated into position. Viscoelastic is removed posterior to the lens as it is in an original torque implantation. You can witness here the level of capsular fibrosis that's apparent in the setting where no curating of the anterior capsule was performed. This patient had an excellent outcome with a stable lens.